today we will be playing through uh, Pokemon Heart Gold. Um, this will be a quite cynical playthrough where not everything is taken seriously. Um, I'll, be, I'll be butchering the game, you know, I'll be um, taking the mick out of it, I'll be... Um, well, it's just not going to be that serious, you know, but I'll try my best. Anyway, um, just so you know, I've got a few cheats on at the moment. Um, one of them, which you should know about, is uh, uh, basically the 100% catch cheat, where I throw a Pokeball, it'll automatically catch the Pokemon. This is just to save uh, time, my time and your time, so that you're just not watching me constantly throwing all the Pokeballs, just trying to catch one Pokemon after another. So, yeah. Let's start, shall we? <laughs> right. Don't need to know about this bit. No info needed. Here we go. It's a very dark place. You're awake in the dark alley. Oh, here he is. This is the, um, Pedoff Professor. This is the guy that basically touches you in your sleep every single time you wake up. But now he's decided to, um, come and introduce you to the world of Pokemon. Anyway, yeah. His name is Professor Oak. Professor Oak. Professor... Professor Pedo. Everyone calls him the Pokemon Professor. Not me. He's... From now on he's called the Pedo Professor. Okay. Two things we should know about this world. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. I hope you knew that, because you're watching a video on Pokemon. If you don't know what Pokemon is, I'll explain. It's basically, um, where they have these creatures in Japan, and, um, yeah, they capture these poor little creatures and enslave them in, in Pokeballs, where they lie eternally, and, um, yeah. Like I said, they're basically like slaves, animal slaves, forced to fight each other for their own master's gain so they can earn money and do whatever they want. So, yeah. He says they live a long time alongside each other with like friends, but this isn't the case. This is not the case at all. This is Japan all over, you know. This is just where they capture the Pokemon and they make them fight each other for their own personal gain, like I said. Anyway, uh, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Are you a boy or are you a girl? Well, neither, but you know. I'd like to think I'm a, I'm a guy. Yes, I, I'm a boy. Yes. Please tell me your name. Who in this wide world does not know the great Judge Turpin? That's right. I'm going to call myself... Turpin. Turpin. I do love Turpin. So your name is Turpin. That's right, Pedo. My name is Turpin. No. Let's do this anyway. Cool. Alright. Bye, Pedo. Oh shit. Dark screen. What have I done? Here we are. The cheats are needed. Here we are. Right. So I, I awake in my room after being cynically touched by the pedo. I suppose I'll go downstairs. Talk to my mother. You turpin, you're finally awake. That's right. Your friend Lyra was just here. Who the hell is Lyra? She was playing hide and seek with her marrow. Of course. Professor Elm. Oh god. Another pedo professor. Yeah, there's, there's several pedo professors in this series. They just you walk around and tell you what to do. I know where his lab is, right? Oh, you mean his dungeon? Yes, I know where his dungeon is. Keeps all the children, of course. 
Here, use this bag to carry things. What else would I use a bag for, you fucking idiot? Here's your trainer card to prove that you're 10 years old. Because that's what everyone is in this game, 10 years old. Here you can save your progress. Thank you. Okay. Try touching the buttons and you'll know in no time what to do. I'll touch your buttons, alright. Let's do this. Cold wind blows across the sky. Oh shit! What's happening? Ah, I better sort this out. There we are. Alright. Seems to be going quite slow at the moment. I'll sort that out eventually. But at the moment, we, uh, we're going to ignore that. Bye, whoever you were. We're off to see the wizard. Right, ooh, ooh. Who's this fine fellow? So this is the famous Elm Pokemon Lab. That's right, Ginger. Oh, he's red. How rude. Alright. Into the Pedo Professor's lab we go. He's been waiting for me. Uh, yeah, yeah, this is the part where he gives me his... Gives me the Pokemon to carry around and slave and... Kill other animals with. Just like Lyrus. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay, okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, I knew you were. Let's see. The device over there has some Pokemon you'd like to choose from. Oh, hey, I got an email! <laughs> okay. Must be some child pornography that he's just trying to hide quickly. Hey, listen, I have this acquaintance that people call Mr. Pokemon. Oh, is that what the children call it? Mr. Pokemon, of course. Don't hurt me, Mr. Pokemon. He keeps finding weird things and raving about his discoveries. Anyway, I just got an email from him saying this time it's real. And a Pokemon egg. Oh. Well, calm down. I haven't even got my Pokemon yet. Don't, don't, don't praise my mind with all these godforsaken leeches that I don't even know about. Pokemon eggs. I don't even have a Pokemon yet. Calm down. All right. Yeah, let's get my Pokemon. About fucking time. Right, we can have um the crocodile, the fire thing. Or the leaf thing. Crocodile. Fire thing. Leaf thing. Crocodile. Come on, let's go. Everyone goes for the fire thing, so let's... Let's be mainstream, shall we? Yep, I want the... The fire thing. The neck will. Woo! Alright. Cool. Right. Uh, are we going to stop here? On the next... Uh... Oh! I'll tell you what. We won't stop yet. We'll stop as soon as I give it a name. Let's see what I can name it. Uh, let's name it... Cretin. Good old Cretin. My favourite slave animal. Yes. Alright, so I've given Cretin the name, and we're going to stop here right now, so uh, yeah. I thank you for watching this, it will continue on the next episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, goodbye. An honour to receive your patronage, my lord. You know me, sir. Who in this wide world does not know the great Judge Tuppin?